Go for it. All right, hey everybody, I'm Mr. Pike and I wanna go over a short lesson with you real quick on expanded algorithms. And the reason being, is the finger in there? Do you know? Okay, good. Uh, the reason being is this is very confusing because up until this point, you've learned what kind of problem, everybody? Standard. Standard. Standard algorithms, which were kind of like this. There was just two partial products. Today's lesson has four partial products because it's what? Expanded, kind of like a rubber band, right? I said you can get a rubber band, and if you expand it, you're making it shorter or longer? Longer. Longer. So today's lesson is expanded algorithms. And remember, an algorithm, we learned a fun little song just a second ago. An algorithm is a step to a problem that you solve. One more time. An algorithm is a step. To a problem that you solve. Good. So we're going to do an algorithm. Here we go. So this is going to be kind of confusing to a lot of students. So I want to go over this again. So here's our problem. We've got one times four, which is what, everybody? Four. 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 Write that down. Okay. So we did our ones. Our next step is one. We used to say one times three, right, in standard. But this is actually what, class? One, one times third. One times 30, which is what? 30. 30. 30, write that down. So we've got one times four is four, and one times 30, which is 30. Now, the next problem is five times four is what we used to say just five times four, but it's not actually a five. This is a what class? 50. This is 50 times four, which gives us what? 50 times four, five times four is 20. Add their zero, 200. And we're not done because we got one more step in the expanded algorithm, which is actually, we used to say five times three, but today's lesson is actually 50 times what? 30. 30, good, which is what? 150, right? Oh no, 50 times 30, 1,000, excuse me. I was off there by a zero. One, five, zero, zero, because three times five is 15, and then add those two zeros. So now, these are our partial products that we add up, and there's four of them. So we add that up, and we get four. Add that up, we get three, seven, and one. Let's just do it the way we used to do it, the good old-fashioned way, which I like better, and I mainly teach standard algorithm. But expanded is today's lesson, and I wanted to show you how they do it, because it's very confusing once um, for some students. Let's go back to standard. Everybody ready? Yeah. One times four is? Four. Four. One times three is? Three. Three. Put our zero down here because now we're in the tens. Five times four is? Twenty. Twenty. Now remember this time we carry the two, put the zero down here. Five times three is? Fifteen. Fifteen plus the two Seventeen. is seventeen. Do you think we're going to get the same answer? Yes. Let's see. One, four and zero is? Four, three, one, and seven. Bingo. Bingo. Same answer, different problem. This is what type of problem, everybody? Expanded, Expanded algorithm. algorithm. This is what kind of problem? Standard. 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 So hopefully that helps. See you next time.